Hello, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to Kudos with Shea Star live on CEP TV Networks. That's right, this is the only show anywhere in the world where you're going to get a live top 10, countdown, top 10 countdown from 10 of your favorite artists from all across the world. Now, not only do we have 10 of the dopest videos on our countdown, I also have some very, 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 very special invited guests that are going to come through today and, you know, sit on the couch, chop it up with me and just give us some much needed information on what's going on out here in the world. So I definitely want to say big shout out to our sponsors, of course, One Rock Vodka, which you will see a little bit later, me and the boy Trap Beckham. Yes, he's going to come through, Mr. Birthday Beat himself, and we're going to chop it up and uh, have a couple of drinks in the Never Have I Ever segment. Not to mention I have a very, very, very special guest on the way. He's coming in very, very soon. He goes by the name of Jeremy Mincy. That's right. If you guys do not know, the former NFL baller is definitely in the building, and we're going to have... <laughs> A very very good conversation so you don't want to miss this not to mention there's so much going on in the world right now from politics to social equality 
Of course, you know I got that sugar honey iced tea for you too, baby. Ooh-wee! I had to tell y'all what that girl Faith Evans been up to. But I ain't going to give it all away too much. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram because we are live right now on all platforms. And that's kudos with Shay Star. And, of course, make sure you follow me at I am Shay Star. And I want to give a big salute to My Life Entertainment, Golden Crown Media, and, of course, CEP TV Networks. So we're going to go ahead and get into the countdown. Why not? That's why we're all here, right? So our number 10 video. Again, I'm going to tell you guys, it matters. It definitely matters. I need you guys to go and vote. You could have been number one last week, but guess what? You could be number 10 this week. I want to give a big shout out to my boy Camo entering the countdown this week at number 10. It's called Pretty Women. It's right here live on Kudos with Shea Star. That no, she can't fix the number at the six. E equal the number of hoes I get. I bet you wanna know how many hoes I hit. I bet you wanna know how much bread I get. I bet you wanna know how much the gold on my wrist with that go to pick. So don't be stupid and try to rob this shit. I stay with the click and I keep me a bitch. I'm married to the game. I would die for this shit. You can keep that bitch. I don't need that shit. My blunts, I was lit and put weed in it. Now I'm leaning. And I fell in the tits The pretty little woman with that ass so big Pretty little woman with that ass so fat Never seen a body with that ass so fat Pretty little woman with that ass so fat Never seen a body with that ass so fat Pretty little woman with that ass so fat Never Look, look, look fat So the way you be in your cooking ass I was in the trap with the reefer, homie I was in the trap with the heater on me Heater on me And I still gotta pay my rent Still gotta, still gotta feed my kids Still in the trap with the O's and the blow Still in the back with the bones for the low Cause ain't no holding on If it ain't about money, I'm rolling on Running through the pack, I'ma keep it on me Hope a nigga don't put the people on me People on me And they still wanna raid my crib Still gotta, still gotta pay my bill Still in the trap with the breakdown scale Nigga get capped, come pay my bill, yeah Trap with the reefer, homie. I was in the trap with the heater on me. Heater on me. And I still gotta keep my soul. Run up on a nigga to achieve my goal. Left a nigga leaking when he ran through the door. See, I was in the trap when them niggas went broke. Watching me walk. I can't relate. I was right there when them niggas were late. I was right here when them niggas was fake. When I was just giving them niggas with tape. And I still gotta take my time. Still in the trap with the breakdown dime. Still in the mud so I can't be lying. And I'm still in a hurry on waste my time. No. And I still gotta pay my rent. Still gotta, still gotta feed my kids. Still in the mix in the hood with the bricks. Still with the shit till a nigga get pinched. And we're back. That was the number nine video by Shea Star Entertainment Group, Black Top Entertainment, Push Management's own baby soda, Drop Top Beans. 
huh? So if you guys want to see those videos move a little bit further up into the countdown, make sure you guys vote. And that link is always available in the Kudos with Shay Star bio on Instagram. Now, one of my favorite parts of the show, the sugar honey iced tea. So anybody who is new to the Shea Star brand and you're just getting, you know, acclimated with what it is that I do, I definitely want to go ahead and put it out there for you guys. I'm a radio personality, TV host, and, you know, <laughs> the original media diva, that would be me. So in my travels of doing radio, I have kind of coined this thing called the sugar honey iced tea. Now, for everybody who's grown, we know what the sugar honey iced tea is. Yes, that's that sh Ooh, honey. We add a little bit of sweetness on there, so we put the honey on up in there. So I gotta go ahead and give it to y'all real quick. So I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the internet, but Takashi Six Nine is definitely home, large, and in charge, honey. He just dropped um, some very controversial images earlier today on his Instagram page, and it featured none other than the queen herself. That's right. Miss Nicki Minaj. Now, this is not the first time that the pair have been seen together as their first uh, collaboration was called Fifi, and it exploded billions of streams, brought in a whole lot of money for the rainbow-haired <laughs> rapper, I must say. But we all know that he has been completely under fire because of everything that's been going on with his so-called snitching uh, situation. Now, a lot of people are not happy about it because they feel as though, you know, when you sign up for this, you kind of got to know what all comes with it. But if you guys don't know the story, Takashi 6 9 was actually released early from jail after he allegedly snitched on a whole lot of gang, 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 gang folks, and the industry is not happy about it. So, you know, everybody has taken to the internet to express their feelings, and they're like, you know what, this is horrible. We cannot accept this rat back into the hip-hop community. Well, I'm going to go ahead and break this down for y'all a little bit. The reason why Takashi 6 9 was able to come back after doing his bid and so-called snitching, being a rat, as you guys would call him, is because Takashi 6 9s fan base is not people in the streets. I understand that he's a rapper, but let's remember, he's not from the city. He's not from New York City. He's from, like, Buffalo. It's like six hours from New York City or Syracuse or something like that. But either way, he did not grow up in that code of ethics that everybody is trying to hold him to. Not to mention, you're talking about a kid who has fans in Asia, um, the Latin community, um, these little kids who don't really understand the whole rat symbolism and all of that. So let's put that out there first. The people that are upset about Takashi 6 9 are not fans of Takashi 6 9 People who are fans of Takashi 6 9 don't live by a street code of ethics. So therefore, they're not going to have the same type of, you know, mindset when it comes to this. So a lot of people are outraged, one, because Nicki Minaj has apparently started this new collaboration with him. It's called Trolls. Now, I got to say, it is for a good cause. All the, benef uh, all the proceeds from the song and merchandise is actually going to go to a couple of charities to help with the bailout project. Um, from the riots. You know, a lot of people were arrested because they were participating in the riots, and there's a big fund that a lot of celebrities have been donating to in order to bail these people out of jail and to also make up for some of the damages that was done during the protest. And Nicki Minaj and Takashi 6 9 are actually two big celebrities who feel as though, hey, we had great success with Fifi, so why not do the same thing with trolls and, you know, turn those proceeds over to people who could really use it. So I understand and appreciate the cause, of course. But, you know, Nicki Minaj caught a lot of backlash today from some very, very high-end websites and blogs just saying that, you know, she's really just going downhill and just feel like she's doing anything to keep herself relevant. I don't particularly feel like that, and being that I'm not the biggest fan of Nicki Minaj, I honestly feel as though they saw a moment, they seized it, and hey, Anybody who can come back from jail and drop a song on YouTube and it hits a billion streams in 24 hours, I mean, kudos to you, honey. But we're going to go ahead and keep this thing moving. So, now this story is not as interesting to tell because it actually hurts my heart. My love, that's right, the first lady of Bad Boy Entertainment, Faith Evans, was arrested on felony domestic charges. <laughs> My audience is laughing in the background. I cannot make this up. Faith Evans was arrested a week ago for <laughs> felony 
domestic violence against her husband, Stevie J. Now, everybody is saying that they saw it coming and they didn't understand why they got married. Of course, there was a whole lot of backlash on Faith's part because, of course, she was married and has a child by the late, great Biggie Smalls. And he's probably turning over in his grave right now to know that she chose Stevie J to be her life partner. But apparently, things aren't so good in paradise. We haven't got the official statement on what exactly occurred, but the police were called to Stevie and Faith's house. And yes, she was taken out of handcuffs. And yes, she was arrested. And yes, she did have to get bailed out. So, I don't know... uh, What's going on with these women and this domestic violence that seems to be trending on social media, but we're going to keep you guys updated on that and some more. Now, to get into some more serious topics, my girl Vanessa Morgan, you know, she's the actress from the show Riverdale. She just married that super hot baseball player. Yes, shout out to you, girl. Um, Well, Vanessa actually took to her Twitter and her Instagram this past week to speak on social and racial injustice in the work field. Vanessa um, went on to do an interview saying that she was very, very disappointed in the way that the world has carried, you know, this George Floyd situation, but it also made her want to speak up and speak out. She said that it's not fair that she is getting paid less money than her white counterparts on the show. Now, of course, we took a poll on Shaystar.com to see what you guys thought about that. And a lot of people feel as though this is not the first time that we've actually heard this type of situation. Of course, Monique spoke on it very, very publicly when um, she went off on Netflix for offering her a substantially lower amount of money than they offered men and white um, comedians. So Vanessa went on to say, you know, I don't know if people are just mad because I married a white man or if they're really just trying to, you know, suppress me as a African-American woman in show business. Now, she didn't say whether or not she was going to quit the show, but I do know that one of her other counterparts since has left the show would actually gave her a reoccurring role on this series, Riverdale. So, you know, I definitely want to say a big shout out to you, Vanessa, for everything that you've accomplished over the last couple of years. And of course, again, congratulations on your marriage. That thing was amazing. It was beautiful. But keep your head up, girl. I know things are hard out here, but you know what? We just got to be thankful for the positions that we're put in and definitely make sure you do not silence yourself and do not close your mouth. Keep on speaking out on it. And hey, you never know. We're living in times right now where things are definitely getting ready to change. Speaking of which, we all know that this George Floyd situation is very, 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 very sticky. Now, I say that because I know you guys have seen everything that has gone on on social media. Um, And, of course, our condolences and our prayers go out to the family of George Floyd, especially his little beautiful daughter, Gianna. Um, You know, they just had his funerals um, over the last couple of days. They had one in Minneapolis, and they had one in his hometown of Houston. And when I say that people showed up and showed out for George Floyd, um... This, this is like one of those conversations that just has been needed to be had, you know? And I get, you know, that a lot of people were excited about what was going on, so the protests ensued, but we know just from the history that protests and riots and violence don't solve anything. So yesterday was a big day in Georgia as we had our primary elections. And, you know, we talked about this last episode. A lot of people don't understand how to change the laws. First things first, please make sure you find out who is large and in charge in your district and in your county, because those are the people that you're going to be voting for when you go to these polls. So it's cool for you to know that this person's running for president, but you need to know who the secretary of state is in your district. You need to know who the mayors are in your cities and your counties. You need to understand how government and legislation is actually set up. Um, thank you to everybody who posted um, their delegates and their senators and their representatives from their cities and their districts. I need you guys to understand the importance of districting. Because if you don't understand who's in charge of your district, you're going to go to the polls and be blindsided. I live in Clayton County, so it doesn't really, you know, it's good for me to know who's running for office in Fulton County, but what goes down in Fulton County has nothing to do with what happens in Clayton County. So understand districting 
and the legislative and the difference between one county and another county and also the state legislative. I know it sounds like a lot, but see, this is the part where we can rise and we can come together, educate yourselves and understand exactly what we're fighting here. Yes, it's called a race war, but it, we're really dealing with people's egos and just years of oppression. Slavery ended, what, 400 years ago? But segregation just ended 60 years ago. So you got to think about the mindset of the people that you guys are fighting against in these protests. These people have been taught for 400 years that people of color and minorities are not on the same playing field as them. So it's going to take a lot to change the mindset from 400 years to 60 years. You know what I'm saying? But hey, if we all band together and just love one another for who we are, the content of our character will carry us through. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. I love you guys so much, and black lives do matter, and I appreciate everybody for going out of their way to fight the good fight. But please remember, be safe, because although we lost lives of people, we don't want to keep losing lives due to stupidity. All right? So we're going ahead and get back into this countdown, and uh, I think we're ready for the number eight video, and it comes from my girl, Brazil Hill. It's called In A Minute, and we're live right here on Kudos with Shea Star.
the moon I boost it for you yeah. You drive me loco Second to Nandi, you number, you number one day. You so cool, you like a Sunday. Baby, all I need is one day. Do you know what success is? You say you want success, right? You say you want to shine, you want to ride, you want to have a car, the house. But do you really know what success is? Boy, I know what cold is. 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 Third and 14, Warren Church are both back in the game. And that change is going to get sacked at the 13 yard line by Jeremy Minshew. Music, drugs, a running route. Life and times of a country bunking race in the South. With big dreams, apparently they was paramount. A -a -a alternative schools, they tried to kick me out. Life was cold as a blizzard, still tried to figure out. High school. And we're back. Yes, big shout out to my boy Big Vibe and Diddy Ma coming in at the number seven video with Loco. Give them good old Caribbean vibes. You feel me? Okay, so we are back live, y'all. And you know, I'm super excited because my first guest has arrived and he's here. And I can't wait to just pick his brain and just see what this life and this journey has been like. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to some and present to others. Mr. Jeremy Mincy. Good to be here. Good to be Hello. here. Hello. Ooh, he came on out of fuck out with your girl that way. Okay, I told y'all I was not going to be ratchet. But anybody who knows me knows that football is a big thing in my household. You know what I'm saying? You know, shout out to the OKC, the 405. You know what I'm saying? Definitely birthed me. Rest in peace, Gurney friend. I love you so much. But this guy right here. Oh my gosh, you have just had the opportunity to just play all around the world on some of the most amazing teams. So we're going to talk about that and some more and just kind of get into what you got going on now and, you know, the journey. But um, Statesboro, baby, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bottom, of the, bottom of the Georgia map, you feel yeah, me? So let's too. go ahead and talk about it. I got folks down there. Yeah. I got folks down there. Okay. Oh yeah, they, they love Shea Star down in Statesboro, you feel okay. me? Okay. Yeah, so it was just right that, you know, we had to lead it off this way. So, Jeremy Mincy, how are you? I am great. How are you doing? I am blessed. You know, I'm here. You're here. You know, I think it's a great day. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, in the midst of what's going on in the world, you know, I could just say, thank God that I'm coronavirus free. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not uh, planning any funerals, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, it's been crazy out here. So, how, you know, have you been dealing with the craziness of the pandemic and then now the social injustices that we've been seeing? I mean, I look at the pandemic as like an opportunity to clear my mind, mm. reorganize, Absolutely. restructure, mm -hmm. refocus, rebuild. And um, it's been really good. Like, you know, honestly, as bad as it's been, you know, around the world, it's been good to me mm -hmm. personally because, like, I've been able to. Uh, make a lot of moves that I wouldn't have been able to make. With the hustle and bustle, With right? the hustle and bustle, you know, while everybody in the house, mm -hmm. you know, I was moving around, making plays. Like, I uh, packed up from Jacksonville, Florida, bought a new, a whole new house here in Atlanta. Wow. During the pandemic. <laughs> wow, so. wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. During the pandemic? During the pandemic. So, I want to ask you, so what was the house market like during the pandemic? Like, was it weird? Was it crazy? I mean, it, of course, it, it was something you guys already had in the works. Of it was like, like, it was like, uh, I would say it was like two weeks into when it got really serious with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Is this gonna happen?" I, yes, <laughs> man. I was like, "You know what? It's just time to make a change." I just packed up everything. We moved along to Atlanta. Well, you know, we are happy to have you back. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been all over the place. You know, so those of you who do not know, Jeremy Mincy is a former NFL football player, a beast to say the least. You know what I'm saying? You know. 
I'm talking like six round draft pick 2006, you know what I'm saying? Top of the list type stuff. You feel me? So you played with the Jacksonville. I played, I got drafted to the New England Patriots. Yeah, go ahead and run it down for him. Go ahead. I had got cut because I was too hood back then. Oh, you know, I okay. slapped I slapped this kid from making in the mouth Ooh. during uh <laughs> after practice, you know, we got in it. <laughs> Bill loved it. Bill Belichick loved my fire because Willie McGinnis was like that. Mm. And that's why they drafted me kind of to fill in Willie McGinnis. Gotcha. But I was just a little bit too ignorant at the time. I didn't understand, you know. The business. For, yeah, the business. It was more mental than physical. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting cut. I went out to San Francisco. They put me on their practice team. I worked my way up to where they gave me a deal. Um, but I turned it down because I had five credit hours left at the University mm -hmm. of Florida. I wanted to finish. Okay. So I went and played for Jacksonville. Awesome. That turned out a, a signing bonus to go play for Jacksonville. And the great thing about that is I got cut twice when I got there. So were you still going to school while you were playing for yes. Jacksonville? So you really went there to finish school yeah. and play for your team. I didn't even, listen, I didn't even uh, get to walk for, because of a preseason game. Wow. And, and, the sad, and the sad thing about it is I was hurt that preseason game. I could have actually... Walked. Went and walked on your graduation. Yes, but those coaches put pressure on you when you're young. Yeah. And, you know, I, that's one thing I do regret to this day. I wish I could have walked across that stage at the University of Florida. Maybe they could arrange it for me to do yeah, it. Hey, maybe we can get an honorary you know, situation going Maybe, on, but, know? yeah, that was, I was robbed of that. But, you know, other than that, you know, I had seven years. Jacksonville signed me a big deal. You know, ended up playing in the Super Bowl with the Broncos. Awesome. Led the Cowboys in sacks, team captain, MVP. Mm. And, uh... After I injured my arm and had, you know, one too many concussions, I kind of sat it down. You know, I need my brain for the future. Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm actually glad you even spoke on that because leading up to the concussion part, but young, young man from the hood, as you say, you yep. know, when you got that first phone call that you were even being considered to be drafted, what, what was that like? It was a it was a lot of excitement, but it was a disappointment too. I'm gonna tell you mm. why because the first team called me, asked me for another player's number. Oh wow! Wait, <laughs> where did they do that? Oh, uh, it was like, hey, do you have such and such a hey, click? Wow! Okay. And so that that same team ended up calling me back uh, and giving me a, a shot. So that was the Jaguars, but okay. I but I I cussed them out on draft day. <laughs> I ain't lying, y'all. I, I bet. Got, they got a cussing. And yeah, I guess that's what they made them like me because, I mean, all I want to do is get in there and play and prove mm -hmm. myself. That's all. Yeah, you know, you seem like a very passionate person, you know. Um, just just watching, you know, you and doing the research that I did do on you, you know, you, you've done a lot. You know, you've, you've given back a lot, you know. Um, and I, I know it's like the cliche thing that they say when you come from nothing and you, you get everything, you know, you change. Did you change? Did your mindset change? Did the your lifestyle change? What were some of the changes that you had to go through when those figures started to come into your life? I mean, I mean, I didn't change. I mean, sometimes when you success changes people around you mm -hmm. because their perception and reality is completely different from yours. Absolutely. So how I took it upon, you know, I'm, I, I stayed real. I, I dealt with a lot of regular people, mm -hmm. still to this day, you know, hardworking brothers that, that you know, work at the food lines, you know, uh, wherever. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they doing, I respect every human, you know. And and sometimes, you know, it, it's a good and a bad to that because yeah. sometimes you'll devalue yourself mm -hmm. and you'll forget, like, how much work you put in and how far you came to get where you're at because you're still, you're still catering to those who... You want to stay true. You want to stay good, true, but you, you know? still have to be true to you, too. Absolutely. And that's yeah. what I learned throughout the, throughout the walk. Yeah, because, you know, you're you're young. You know, football years, you might be considered older, but, you know, you're, you're, you're still very young. Where, where do you, you know, what do you do with life after you decide, okay, I don't want to play ball anymore or you injured yourself? What What is that transition like? I mean, my, my I'm, I'm going to break it down. Um, I started with my cousin, Fat Boy, with Pure Pain Records out of Savannah. That was okay. a camouflage movement, mm -hmm. Universal Records. I don't know what's going on. You know, I met Birdman at 15 years old, like, you know, and I was I was, I was out in the streets hanging mm -hmm. out, doing what I do back then. So I already kind of had a, 
an edge on the music game. Yeah. You know, and and I, and I will always want to be a part of the music industry even mm -hmm. before football. So. Mm. Yeah, I had like I had CDs out before I even put on a pair of pads. Oh wow! Wait so a yeah, yeah, yeah. That you know, so it, the music stuff go, it goes deeper with me than, you know, just football. Then you know, um, I ended up going to junior college, and I ran into uh, one of I think it was one of Boosie, little Boosie's friend, Mel, the guy T M L. He uh -huh. played. He was a running back with okay. me. And he used to tell me about little Boosie, and, and that just inspired me because I'm like, dang, this little kid like he reminded me of camouflage, yeah. and then. A year later, I hear Boosie speak on camouflage about the time they met, and then he died. I'm like, oh, wow, the world's mm -hmm. small. Like, mm -hmm. it's so small. So, I, you know, I, I stayed, I kind of stayed in that business and uh, stayed in touch with my cousin, Fat Boy. He moved up here uh, in Atlanta, started working with Shorty Red. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Fat Boy is a real pioneer. Like, a lot of people don't know Fat Boy has been around for a while. And, you know, he made a lot more hits than uh, Wasted for Gucci Man. Oh. So, you know. I had to get you on the couch, so. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I've been around. My roommate, my roommate, uh, we worked on music together, Jay Dash. He ended up uh, going two times platinum oh, wow. with WAP. Yeah, yeah. And then my other close friend, uh, he worked at Revolt for P. Diddy as an intern. And, uh, so, you know, I've been around a lot and seen a lot in this game. So when you decided to transition from football to music, like you said, this wasn't just something to do in your retirement. This mm -hmm. is something that you've always wanted to do. It was back, it was back to business. Like, yeah. I'm going to tell you all something. I'm the first NFL player who promoted his records through stadium DJs. Mm. Like, I've had my record played in three different stadiums, you know. Drop these jewels for these folks real quick. Yeah, um, <laughs> shout out Jason Whitney. How does that Whitney. happen? <laughs> Shout out Jason Witten. They used to love the song I had called A Hundred. I did with Greg Hardy. Okay. And the original version had Kevin Gates on it. Um, that was huge. I had this one record called Just Work that they played heavy. It charted actually in, uh, you know, maybe I organically moved up the charts and they kind of moved me out the way. You know how this business goes? Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't pay for something. Yeah, you got to pay to play. You yeah, know? so. At least that's what they said, That's what right? I learned. So yeah. when that happened to me, it was devastating because I'm like, damn, man, I'm working so hard. Yeah. I learned how to do, like, every, like, it ain't really an avenue to the game that I don't know, I can't touch on. Like, me and Big Dog was talking about some promotions earlier, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and it's kind of like, he, the math he got in his head is the same math I got in my head, so it all add up, you know, Absolutely. that's how you know you're dealing with good people. Yeah, and you know, um, and I kind of want to touch on that too, business, you know, especially with everything that they're, that's going on right now in the world, they're saying that black people have not been um, properly equipped on uh, educational level as well as a social level financially yes. so um, what has that been like for you learning understanding and you know overseeing your business affairs I mean I just see so many ball players make so much money and to see them broke two three years down the line yeah I mean, it's just bad, it's bad mis money management, mm -hmm. bad people around you. Like it's like when those situations like that happen, yeah, you just have a bad core, and then you're not thinking for yourself. Yes, too many of the athletes got too many yes men. They surround themselves with people that's gonna tell them yes. Mm -hmm. Me, I, you know, I'm harder than that. I, I, I tell me the truth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Keep yeah. it a hundred, and that same mentality has, has got me to moving step by step up the ladder Amazing. in the game. Mm -hmm. Amazing. No, you know, and I I appreciate your humility as well, you know, even having you here with me today, um, you know, you could have been anywhere else in the world, <laughs> but you're hanging out with Shay Star, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it's it's just awesome to see the evolution of people, you know, because like you said, sometimes people just get stuck and then the money's gone because they don't know what else to do after that, you know, right. there was no preparation for what to do when that's over. So let's um, talk about, you know, what you're doing now, um, MMP, you know, let's go okay. ahead and Introduce the world to MMP and what that means and what that means to you. Okay, well, MMP is uh, two different uh, meanings. One is Mr. Mess Production as a company, as a business. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the uh, the intricate part of MMP is men moving positive. Mm -hmm. And what we do is put together, uh, what I do is I use my connects throughout the world and kind of bring all these black different entrepreneurs yeah. so you can find these things that people... You know, I went out and found everything. So yeah. all you got to do is construct your plan, mm -hmm. and we all work together as black people okay. and build our businesses because if you're good at this, you're good at that. It's basically 
a new barter. Yeah. A new barter system. Conglomerate, you know? What do you bring to the table? What's your contribution? Exactly. Yeah. And we just reach out to different brothers all across the globe. Mm. And, you know, we do a lot of philanthropy. If you need to learn how to get, you know, get some radio promotion, we uh, uh, digital, whatever. Like, mm -hmm. we touch we touch everything. Awesome. You know what I mean? So. Well, you know, that's what I was saying. You know, I, I know I'm not a brother. I ain't one of the fellas. But, you know, I want to <laughs> contribute to the oh, MMP yeah. situation. Yeah. So we're going to have to have that conversation, you know, off camera. But, you know, I see you working. You know what I'm saying? Hard times. You know what I'm saying? I know about that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, you, you just, I, I, I just love, you know, your humility and I think in a time where people are awry, people are in an uproar, people are going crazy right now, you know, for you to still be so level-headed, you know, I, I love um, the things that you post with your family, you know, with your children and your wife and it's just like really, really dope to still see positivity you know in the midst right. of all of the craziness you know I, I could tell that your children are your world you know oh, that yeah. that is awesome <laughs> you know as a mother myself you know i don't keep mine too too far away from me you know he's literally sure. watched this whole production you know from start to finish and you know it's just instilling those things in our children you That's know what right. i'm saying you have daughters you know what i'm saying yes. so how how does does that feel you know being somebody's hero you know it's one thing to be all these millions of people's hero that you don't know but you know when those four eyes wake up you know looking for daddy in the morning like how does that make you feel oh it, it's unreal like it, it gives you that that drive like it gives you that purpose mm -hmm. you know what i mean like like so y'all don't have kids and y'all don't want to have kids or whatever like it's, it's gonna be hard finding your purpose out there because when you look your children in the eyes you know you you know it's a whole nother feeling, yes. a whole nother purpose, a whole nother reason. So, I, I, I and I kind of put that in, put that in the, what I represent as a person too. You know what I mean? Like, um, I like giving people hope. Like, my daughter, like, she started out in the studio with me, like four or five years old. Now she, she's she's gonna be nine, and she has some great music awesome. at nine. Like, grown, it's like, sound like she's already sixteen. You know wow. what I mean? Because. Her maturity of being around it, just like yeah. your son being yeah. in the studio watching mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. Eventually, all oh, this is gonna be absolutely simple mathematics <laughs> yeah. to them, you know. It's like second nature to them, exactly. Right? Yeah. So you groom early and you get them ready, you know. And you know, and you know, with what's going on, you know, what are those conversations like? You know, when you're leaving the house, you know, do is your family nervous when you leave? Is there you know, a sense of anxiety that now, you know, runs over top of us because of what's going on in the world. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just riding in Georgia with Florida license plate mm. is, is, is scary. You know, yeah. I've been face down on I-75, 95, 16. You know, I, I, yeah, I've seen a lot, you know. So, you know, it's just scary being black nowadays anyway. Yeah, and it, or just period, you period, know, because it's just, it's a lot, you know, and, and it's mind-boggling, you know, and when you're busy, you know, sometimes we can miss things, but I think, you know, in the, the wake of, you know, the killing of George Floyd and all the social injustices and, you know, Breonna Taylor now, you know, is, is the next big conversation. Trayvon Martin is always going to be a conversation. You know, it's just, I just commend people like yourself mm. who don't let, those things deter you from still wanting to be great and push, you know, yourself to the limit. Because the the fear is sometimes it's, probably the strongest enemy. You know what I'm saying? It is, and it's discouraging when you're scrolling through your timeline. And that's all you see. And you just see it choking, 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 burning bottles. Mm -hmm. Like, like I, I just had to shut the phone off. Like, you know, I look, I, I I just couldn't take it. Yeah. Like, it gets to a point where you're like, I can't, I can't look at this no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got to focus on what I got to focus on. Of course, I'm gonna be an advocate for and stand for because I am black, absolutely, unapologetically. Mm. I am, you know what I mean. I do care for my people. I've been giving back to my people from the beginning, so it doesn't matter. You know, even when I ain't have much, I still gave a lot. You know what I mean. So, uh, I, I, you know, I, when you're doing your job in society, like a lot of these things, you know, a lot of people like clicks and views, yes. man. Like a lot of people out here. Rallying for clicks and views, That's like it. me, I really mean it. Like I've been mm -hmm. genuine from the beginning, so you know, all of a sudden now, yeah, I've been doing this. So yeah. this is what I do, and this is what I'm gonna continue to do. Well, you know, you have our full support here at Kudos with Shay Star. 
course, the EPTV Networks, My Life Entertainment, and of course, out to the fam, mp3wax.com. You know what I'm saying? Just yes, throw that in there real quick. You know? MP3 Wax. <laughs> yes. Um, but th- it's just been awesome, you know, to have intelligent conversations with like-minded individuals. You know, it's just dope to see the motion in the ocean still going, you know? But we can't give these folks too much because if we give them anything else, they're going to have to pay for that. This yeah, is boy. not pay-per-view. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we get out of here, um, please let everybody know how they can get in contact with you, your Instagram, your social media, the website, uh, where can they find the music, if they want to submit, you know, a couple of tracks to be on the squad, what they got to do? Uh, Mr. Mitch, submit your records to Mr. Mitch Productions, Inc. at gmail.com. Follow me on Miss. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Mr. Mintz ninety two, mm-hmm. or Mr. Mintz Productions uh, on Instagram, and also you can check out our YouTube. You know we're building it up. We we have thirty thousand subscribers so far. We're trying to get it, you know get it Yeesh. going. So tune in, check you know check in with us, and, and you know you know what it is. Yeah, well this won't be the last time that you know we see you here. Uh, maybe not on set, but I definitely um, just want to personally, again, thank you for coming, and I'm ready to work, so I don't know. We're going to have to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? You might have to put something in the works for the ladies and oh, MP. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. We yeah. Got, yeah, we got WMP, too. Let's yeah, I'm, I'm sending my resume over, okay? All right, all right. <laughs> I'm sending my resume over. But no, Mr. Mins is definitely a, a pleasure. Um, again, you guys, make sure you check him out. Please do not... Get caught up in the glitz and the glamour and the hype. Listen to the message and just lock in with real people who have real stories and they can really, really uplift and encourage you. So we're going to go ahead and get back to our countdown. Thank you so much, Mr. Mincy, for being with us. Time for the number six video. Oh, my gosh. They were number one last week. Number six now. This is OMD with Jet Ski. Tryna just call, ho, just text, ho, just text uh, Got somebody, girl, on a jet ski, jet ski. Always somewhere posted where a check be uh, I ain't had to ask, she just let me hey, She gon' let me fuck us who I am I just hit a lick for five bands hey, Nah, we ain't shaking, we ain't kin hey, Lil' bitch, know I'm loaded behind these lens hey, Nah, we ain't shaking, we ain't kin hey, Lil' bitch, know I'm loaded behind these lens hey, Nah, we ain't shaking, we ain't kin. Hey, little bitch, know I'm loaded behind these lens. Hey, hey, yeah, sipping on my lag now. Hey, plug through it, thankful that it touched down. Hey, I be by myself, ain't no trust round. Hey, I cannot get caught up with no bust down. Hey, my little shawty walk up and he bustin'. Uh, I just want that money, keep that touching. Hey, niggas wildin', they ain't up to something. Hey, bitches tryna fuck me out in public. Hey, keep trying to just call, ho, just text, ho, just text uh, Got somebody, girl, on a jet ski Always somewhere posted where a check be uh, I ain't had that ass, she just let me hey, She gon' let me fuck us who I am I just hit a lick for five bands hey, Nah, we ain't shaking, we ain't kin hey, Lil' bitch know I'm loaded behind these lens hey, Nah, we ain't shaking, we ain't kin hey, Lil' bitch know I'm loaded behind these lens hey, Nah, we ain't shaking, we ain't kin. Hey, little bitch, know I'm loaded behind these lens. My wrist wall, the tiki bar, but bitch, I'm running to a check. Princess cuss, my diamonds bust, if you ain't know this, river guess. Shorty boo, so we be vibing, she be mobbing with the set. Took that bitch up at the PJs, put her on the private jet. Hey, if she calling, I won't answer, better text me. For a gamma on my west, but don't arrest me. You can catch me somewhere posted where a check be. Ballin' hard, I think a nigga need an SP. Fool, glitch the top of the mirror zone. Your bitch next be my cologne. CLD, that's plug top, red bottom zone, straight blood walk. Louis Pops got four grams. Kush gang, no season stamps. Fly got a seat, respect the brand. Get money, nigga, that's who I am. Ain't with the funny shit, get your mess. Bow, spread them, left, lit shots, and make them do that Harlem dance. G passes, get revoked. Blowing gas, want all the smoke. Lie, pay Billied up in the daisy. Two 12 apes got blazing. Burned out, face left him caging. Switch states, make 
place again. Rage truck, now I am G Benz. Fuck you niggas, I don't need no friends. Fuck you niggas, I don't need no friends. super hype and super excited because you know the countdown is be having me lit honey yeah i'm need to just calm down just a little bit don't judge me i want to say shout out to my guy maine that was bless you coming in at number five florida is definitely in the building i believe that's fort lauderdale i believe so you know these folks is coming from all over the country with it but guess what we are getting into one of my favorite parts of the show and this is called pump it or dump it now you guys know i be in these clubs honey i've been on these radio stations and so many artists send me music like shay i just want to get on i don't know what to do i don't know who to talk to so pump it or dump it is my way of literally giving back to all of these amazing artists out here they could be mainstream or they could be independent but a lot of times i get music and people ask well what do you think about it what should i do is this a banger so you know what instead of just being biased and giving you my personal opinion i'm going to actually allow the world to tell you guys what they think of your music. So tonight, yes, we have two dope songs on our Dump It or Pump It segment. And you know I'm an R&B head all day, so y'all really gonna love this one. Our first song comes from my boy Harmony. Yes, he goes by Harmony Sings on Instagram. And this is actually a rough cut that he sent to me just to ask me what I thought about it. Now, I don't know if he thought I was ignoring him or whatever, but I literally had this song on repeat for five days straight. And after that fifth day, I then, you know, sent him an email and was like, um, you know what, we're going to put this on my show on Wednesday. So I want to say big shout out to my guy Harmony. He's an amazing singer. And also, OMG, my life entertainment is definitely in the building Antonio armani so if you guys are looking for that real deep soulful sound you know what i'm gonna just stop talking play the music y'all yeah
inside the house, girl, you had dinner ready for me on the table. Hey, I remember when we used to cuddle up, girl, on the couch and write some movies on cable. Yeah, used to give it to me every night. Yeah, baby. Making love to the sunrise. And we are back. Yes, that was our dump it or pump it. So we are live right now on Instagram. You guys see, look, no cap. You know what I'm saying? We are super live. And right now we have about 2,100 people on the live. So I'm going to ask you guys, what did you think about song number one? Should we dump it or pump it? Drum roll, please. Can I get some hearts, 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 some hearts? He goes by the name of Harmony. Harmony sings. Rough cut just for me. So guess what? I'm going to go on and slide that thing through. We're going to pump that thing, baby. Show is. So listen, when you get the Mix and Master version, make sure I get a copy of it so we can properly send it out to our DJs to definitely show you some love. I got DJ Samore in here who's gonna be coming on a little bit later. We're R&B heads and everybody in the room was like, yes. So, song number two, Tonio Armani. What do you guys think about that? Should we dump it or should we pump it? Oh, there go the hearts. Now, do I got some more hearts? Are we, are we gonna keep that thing? Oh, they said pump it. Hey, big shout out to Tonio Armani. You could definitely check him out, man. He's got a lot of dope things going on. Big shout out to Quentin Miles, My Life Entertainment. It's a really, really crazy story how me and Tonio Armani met. But it's great to see him still doing his thing out here, still busting down doors as he was since the day I met him. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're going to pump that one, too. So we are like 444, y'all. Last week we had... Um, Two artists on, and everybody said pump it, and this week they're saying as well. So definitely we'll be sending out those emails. Um, and if you guys want to know how to be a part of the whole dump it or pump it situation or how it even works, I'll give it to you real quick. Again, dump it or pump it is where I showcase two songs from two artists, any genre. I'm not genre biased. We're here to put everybody in position if we can. And if the people like it, then yes, I will personally, yes, me, your girl, Shea Star, I will personally send out an email blast to over 500 of my personal DJ friends and 4,000 industry contacts. So, I mean, I think that's pretty damn good if you ask me, all right? But look, we got to go ahead and have a quick word from our sponsors. And when we come back, I got that boy Trap Beckham, as well as the number four video. It's your girl Shay Star, and this is Kudos with Shay Star. <laughs> Message. I don't know about you guys, but I am super excited for Kudos with Shay Star. Brought to you by My Life Entertainment and ShayStar.com. Exclusive.
exclusively on the EPTV Network. I'm talking top 10 countdown from some of your favorite artists all across the globe. But guess what? This is the kicker. You guys choose who will be number one. So please make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, Shaystar TV, and also make sure you log on to Shaystar.com for all information on how you, you, and you can pick who will be number one in the top 10 video countdown. It's kudos with Shaystar. CEO of EBO Educational Services. We're a full service tutoring and test prep company. We do everything from calculus to counting, from phonics to Shakespeare. We also are very big on SAT, ACT prep for college prep, ASVAB testing, and GED testing as well. Whatever it has to do with academics that you need to get through or get past, we help you through. I loved building relationships with students and helping kids just grow, learn that there's more to life than just keeping good grades, but it's about building who you are as a person. One student to one tutor. We don't have a class or a small group of kids, so undivided attention is given to that one child. I was a teacher for a while, and I was in the classroom seeing that these kids were not getting as much as they could possibly get, and they weren't learning in a way that was really getting to them and really reaching them. So after I left the classroom, I was actually going to leave education for a while because I got so disenchanted with the system. But I decided that in the meantime, so I could find something else, let me just put a sign on the corner for tutoring.
Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shay Star. We are back. Yes, this is Kudos with Shay Star. Hope you guys have enjoyed the show thus far. 
Man, second episode, I'm just feeling the energy. I'm feeling the love already. Thank you so much to everybody who's live with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And if you guys are wondering how you can, um, you know, actually subscribe, definitely please show some love to our platform, CEP TV Networks. Definitely get in tune, man. She's got a lot of amazing things for black entrepreneurs and black businesses, such as yourself, you know what I'm saying? Well, myself, that is. But hey, guess what? It's not even about me. Kudos is all about the people who are doing great and amazing things out here in the world from music to film, TV, philanthropy, sports, fashion, and just everything across the board. So tonight, got a very special guest coming through. If you guys have been paying attention to all the promo, it ain't my birthday, but it's somebody's birthday today. So, you know, in honor of all of our legendary birthdays, I need you guys to give it up right now. Show some love for my guy. Yes, Mr. Trap Beckham. Yeah. Ooh, one time for the birthday cheese. Hey, two two time, time for the birthday cheese. Three time, time for the birthday cheese. Well, yeah, it'll be the birthday. birthday. Ooh. Ooh. Now, let's stop. We're going to turn to the Hey, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all give it up one time, my guy. Trap back up. What's up? You know, look, we just, we just real, oh, real, real right live with it. You feel me? Holla, yeah, you know. I'll add IG one time. Yeah, we sideways with it, but we in here. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> no, welcome to the show, Trap. Um, You know, you have been very busy. Yeah. Very, very busy. Staying active. Yes, as yeah. as you should be. You know, recently uh, relocated from Florida yeah, to Florida. Georgia. Yeah, you know, I, I had to get, I had to come where the action is. Yeah, you know well, it's you know, I've, action to where I was at. I've, I've, I've watched you grind. You know, and yeah. you know, big shout out to TJ, of course. You know, yeah. that's family. You know, big be, shout out to beyond. TJ, TJ you know, Chapman. Yes, TJ DJs. You feel me? Yeah. Um. I just, I love the whole movement. You know, you guys are working, you're out here, you're staying very active, you're doing shows, you're dropping music. And, you know, a lot of people were like, Shay, I thought you weren't going to interview artists on this show. This was like a different type of vibe. But there is a distinctive reason why I asked you to come join me on the couch today. Uh -oh. So, let's get into it. Let's you know, get into it. You, you have one of the biggest songs. In the world. In the world. In the world? In the world. What song? You know why I'm going to say that? In the world. Because one thing that is universal, world. don't matter if you're a That's man, it. a woman, LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. you're grown as hell, you young as hell, yep. somewhere in between <laughs> black, white, yellow, blue, brown, avatar, whatever you want to be. One thing Facts. that we all celebrate it's our birthdays. It's our birthdays. It's our birthdays. Right. And it don't matter what club you go into, whether it's an EDM club, a Spanish club, a hip hop yeah. club, Caribbean club. Facts. Somebody's <laughs> going to be celebrating their birthday, every right? Every time. Yeah, you got to, everywhere. And at all times. You know, big shout out to 2 Chains, but uh, I think that uh, yeah, you know, your birthday song has it? surpassed that on. Many you know levels. what? But they they still play all of you know they still play the the Fifty Cent. Of they course. They still play the the Two Chains. Mm -hmm. They still sing Happy Birthday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> they, you know, they, they I had to put a different spin on it. Yes, yeah, sure. Add the add the you know the bass to it, the, the twerk spin on it. The whole um, Florida it vibe. Out, you it know, it worked out real good, man. It just went gold actually. So yes, big shout yes, out to everybody, yes, all the birthdays yes. out there, man. Who um, type in Trap Beckham? Who go listen to Birthday Chick? Uh, I appreciate y'all, man, because um, now I got my first plaque. Yeah, well, that's you know lit. what? That is that is yeah. super exciting news. And, that, again, that's why I brought you here today because, you know, I'm out and about. I be in the clubs. Yeah. I'm a radio personality. You know, whatever. Great. One thing that I always hear, I request. Hey. So whether you're calling to give your best friend or your mama a birthday shout-out or you in the clubs and, you know, you throwing a surprise for your girlfriends, or if you're Janet right. Jackson and your whole staff throws you a surprise birthday party, hey. or if you're a Kourtney Kardashian and you have a drive through right. birthday party during nice. the corona pandemic. <laughs> Dropping real and, facts uh, right you now. Know, <laughs> you're going to hear one time for the birthday chick, and when that cadence drops, it's on. everybody goes crazy. It's on. So I want to ask you, how does it feel to have one of the biggest songs in the world and people not know who you are, though. Um, 
it's like I, like I don't really get bothered because I'm a low key type of person, mm -hmm. but of course like in my career I want to be bigger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just know I uh, it's a marathon for people like me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like yes. Nipsey was that same type of artist. Yes. Where yes. everybody knew him, he had pictures with everybody, mm -hmm. and you know he he's just moving at his own pace. So like I'm just I feel like I'm one of those type of artists. You know I'm gonna be here for the long haul. I'm doing this regardless. Yes. Like I was doing this when I was. But nobody was watching, so I'm going to do it regardless. So You know what? Yeah. That's one thing that I admire about you, Trap, is, is your humility. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you, you showed up for me, you know, yeah. on a couple of occasions. And, you know, sometimes they were big, you know, turnouts, and sometimes they were not so big turnouts. But the one thing that I appreciated about you is that it doesn't matter what the venue size was, what the occasion was, you still came and you rocked out, and you did yeah. the thing, even if it was only a few people there, but you still gave a show yeah. as if there was thousands of people in the room. Yeah, you know, well, first, like, you're a real one. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. So, like, let's just make that clear. Like, I don't really, like, rock with too many people, but, like, you know, if you're solid, I'm going to come through. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just what that is. And um, as far as performance, like, I learned a long time ago, he, like, I done had shows with like, I've had a Trap Beckham show with nobody there. And it was big, like, nobody mm -hmm. there. Like, so, and I had to perform because contract. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, you know, that it, it'd be like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just try to perform like, every, you know, like it's a thousand people. Yeah, because, honey, yeah. we got footage. You wouldn't know who was there because yeah. we was just so lit, you know. You got to go at it. Um, yeah, it was. It, it's, it's a lifestyle. It's what you do. It, like, I remember, like, you know, everybody done had, yeah. you know what I'm saying, sketch shows. Everybody done had crazy shows. Like, I could pull up a crazy show with Heartbeat, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, it's, it's the grind. It's all a part of the grind. It's a marathon. No, yeah, yeah. you know, you're, you're pushing. So, you know, when, because, you know, I follow everything that y'all got going on. Yeah. When I saw um, that birthday um, bitch, whatever we want yeah. to call it. We got the edited version and the non-edited version for anybody who needs that. Right. Um, but when I saw that it went gold, right. I was like, yeah. I think I literally screamed in my house. And my kids Man. were like, Mom, what's up? And I'm like, oh, my God, my friend just got his first plaque, and I'm real? so excited. It's, like, it was the beginning. It was like, Man, what? It, and it took it took a minute. It took a minute. I was just like, dang, well, it's kind of it's kind of like a testimony of like yeah. machines and how it works. Yeah. And it's like, dang, yeah. well, it took a minute. But the fact that it did go gold, it set off everything, like my Spotify numbers just Crazy. like since it went gold, uh, it went up another half a million awesome. streams wow. just like like from last or uh, where two weeks ago. Yeah, because I, I was that. literally yeah. like a week and a half, almost two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I immediately called TJ like. Yeah, and um, that's just Spotify <laughs> alone. So like across the board, like YouTube, uh, Apple Music, mm -hmm. title. Across the board, it's going crazy, but like that was just Spotify. And then I saw that you said that TikTok just re-added it back. Yeah, to yeah. To their uh, list of things that they do. Yeah. I'm not really familiar with TikTok, so you know, birthday inform chick us. just got back on TikTok. Like we, everybody was like, w "Well, where is birthday chick?" Yeah. Everything else was on there, and um, it was crazy. I was like, I don't know. So we had, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it was crazy. I was like, I don't know. So we had to figure it out. Um. It's like uh, I had got my first royalty check, my first mm. royalty check back from, you know what I'm saying, Def Jam. And um, since then, it came back. Wow. So everything's, like, good. All the business is good. We set, we square. And um, now, like, everything is going to be crazy. Wow. Like, it, we have way more, like, control of, Dope. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, yeah. when I joined Def Jam, it was, like, a whole different situation. Yeah, so. yeah. Big shout out to Def Jam for the platform, but now we got it. Hey, you know what I mean? man, we, I we love those type of yeah. stories. Yeah. yeah. It's just great to see movement, motion, elevation, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, what, what was the transition like, you know, coming from Jacksonville mm -hmm. to Atlanta? Um, Transition was, it, like, you know what? When I got here, I was like, man, the weather here is bad. This is crazy. <laughs> what? So, They're not that. So, it rains every other minute where you yes, guys are from. Yes. And then the fog, <laughs> man, come on, man. It's crazy. I was like, the weather's bad. The parties was lit. The rain was heavy, though. 
Like whatever it rain is 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 bad. Yeah, it, it's gonna rain, rain. It ain't no mm-hmm. five second nah. thunderstorms like you used yeah, to, and then yeah. everything goes back to you know ain't blue no sky. No sun showers. Yeah. <laughs> no sun showers. Nah. Yeah. It's real rain. Real rain. <laughs> 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 no, I was going to the club one time. It was raining so hard, man. Like my whole shoe was getting just washed over. It was crazy. I went to the club. It was packed. No, I was folks like, be supposed up. to go party. Yes. In a, like, bro, it was crazy. These folks is partying doing Corona. They like. drying off in the party <laughs> at the bar. No, nah, no cap, for real. For real. <laughs> it's crazy. What, what, is it, what is it like to walk into a room and when people may not know you by face or by name, and then the song comes on and it's like, oh, that's him. Like For me, it's, it's just... For me, it's making the people move. You know yeah. what I'm saying? As long as the people vibing, I'm good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if I get the mic, then I'm going to have all the attention. Everybody of go. Of course. Like, I'm gonna, that's going to, it's going to come. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, it's going to catch up. The music is going to catch up to the name. Mm-hmm. But um, even if, like, they don't know, that'd be cool. Like, as long as they vibing. Even, like, even if I'm playing something brand new they never heard, as mm-hmm. long as they vibing, that's my goal, to keep the people moving. Make America shake. Mm. That's my whole thing. Make America shake. Yeah, make America shake again. Yeah, make it shake again. So, you know, you can back it up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or you can <laughs> keep it a hundred, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Whatever it is you want to do, just make sure you turn up like it's your birthday. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> turn up like it's That's your birthday. That's how you, <laughs> you got to do that thing right there. Well, no, um, the, the purple guy. Well, let's talk about the purple guy. Because yeah. you got this purple emoji thing that you show up with at all your shows, you know. Yeah. And it's actually one of my favorite emojis that I use, you know, so yeah. every time I see your name, I just throw the emoji back there, so. Yeah, yeah. What, what's yeah, the purple yeah. emoji guy about, with the Prince hair yeah, on top, man. you know, what's, um, what's going on here? You know, I got, like, I call my whole fo- fan base, like, the emoji game, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You rocking with me, you part of the emoji game, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, like, this is just, like, I picked the, the happy evil emoji because it's just... The happy evil yeah, emoji. Yeah, it just symbolizes okay. the, the lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just is the rap lifestyle is just different, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just different. The you might not make it. Yeah, hey, <laughs> some people not, not built it. for it. So, um, it's just it's just something I feel like represented me. Uh, I threw the hair on it just just so I could put my little splash on it. But, make but yeah, shape, we take you know it everywhere saying? and we branding it and um, hopefully one day. Anytime somebody see it, they just that's like, Yo. the first thing I yeah. think about every time. It's, yeah. it's all your fault. It's all your fault. Ever since we did to, the, I'm trying the, to get it together. Where was we at uh, in Macon? We did the homecoming with the kids, and yeah. you guys had the purple emojis, and I was like, I want one. Like, can I get one? I still have the stickers you gave me though. Right. Yeah, it was you know if you have another one, I could put it on my new phone. You know, cause purple is my favorite color. You know what I'm saying? And it's not my birthday, but purple my favorite color too. Bruh. That's why I went with that. See, that's why see, we that's why we here. Like right there. Yeah. You see what, what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> Stop it! No, Trap Beckham, y'all. Listen, man, listen. So you got a new song. Yeah. And, you know, we world premiered that thing on our show uh, last week on our very, very first show. Yeah, honey. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, Honey is a part of a series. Like, I do a series every Sunday. It's called um, SoundCloud Sundays. You do a lot of series on your Instagram, sir, but we're going to yeah. get into that. Trying mm-hmm. to, trying to, trying to, mm-hmm. you know, just stay stay active. But SoundCloud Sundays is one of them. And um, it's somewhere I just, I go in my Dropbox or my vault where I got this, all these hits laying around and I just mm-hmm. release some music with a visual. They just laying around, y'all. Yeah, they just laying, yeah. just laying around. Just yeah. all these good music. Mm-hmm. So I just... I, you know, I, I feel like I sit on so much music, I don't yeah. put no visuals out, enough visuals mm-hmm. out. So I was like, let me take advantage of the coronavirus pandemic and go to work. So yeah. every week I've just been kicking out videos and stuff like that. So I just not completed season one, which is 10 songs, 10 videos. Dope. And Hunted was uh, one of those records. And But like you as the first platform outside of like myself to take one of the records, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, okay. I'm like, okay, that's that's yeah, hard. Like, okay, honey, vibing, actually, but that's what man. that's what I did did it for. Cause dope. like, you never know who's gonna what's like, gonna what? catch yeah. on to what. Yeah, yeah. So like, that was dope. Just see, 
you know what I'm saying? Something come from it. Hey, well, you know what? Timing is everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, that's how this show even came about because coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? Right. All my stuff got shut down. All my traps got shut down. You know Who what you I'm tell? saying? Every single last one of them. Yeah. So, you know, this was just time for me to just sit back and, you know, elevate some things and think about some things, evolve, you know, right. and just try to figure out how to take everything that I've done and turn it into something that I can share with people like yourself, you know, yeah. people who've been down, who've been solid, and this is my chance to give you guys your kudos, you know what I'm saying? That's, so, that's why we here, kudos man. Kudos Shay Star, you feel Appreciate me? Appreciate it. Yeah, so, you know, what you got coming up? What are we looking forward to? So, now that we have finished season one of um, SoundCloud Sundays, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm working on videos for my album, which is Make America Shake Again. Okay. Make okay. America Shake Again, the album coming soon. It's going to be straight, turned up, party stuff. Something just to get people back in the mood, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's been so sad. Yeah, you, you know, know, like, I seen the first video of people partying the birthday chick in a long time, like, actually a party. I was like, mm. they miss it. Yes. Like, they was outside going crazy. Yeah. They, they miss it. They miss it a lot. So, like, they been kind of trickling back in. Yeah. People starting to get back into it, but like um, I'm trying to make America shake again, get mm. it back in the mold. I got some new, some new music, some new heaters for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna really rock with it, especially all the twerkers. You of know what I'm saying? course, twerkers gonna love it. So mm -hmm. gotta have the bounce. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? All the club DJs, the club DJs gonna eat it up. It's gonna be crazy. Um, July 14th. Is when it drops. That's my birthday, so oh, yeah. Make sure y'all oh, download okay. that for my birthday, and you know, do post it. I'm probably ask for so many things <laughs> for my birthday. You know, it's my birthday. You, that's, that's you gotta turn of, up. Yeah, you know you can what I'm saying? Flex a muscle on your birthday. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, you got the biggest birthday song in the world, so they better act like they know what's going on. Right, you right, me? right. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, Trap is a very busy person. You know, I don't know what show he had to cancel or what flight he didn't get on to be here tonight, but <laughs> I definitely appreciate you for being here with me tonight, sir. Oh, yeah. But he's not going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? We still got the fun part coming up. You uh -oh. know, Never Have I Ever, sponsored by uh -oh. On Rock Vodka, to come after, you know, we get back into some videos. But speaking of videos, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, we did world premiere that thing, Hunted, last week. And uh, the fans have spoken. They said that's hard. You went from the world premiere to the number four video. So you actually own the countdown, brother. You did. You feel me? So y'all must have swiped up. You feel me? Because you got to swipe up to vote. All right, that's real. Yeah. That's real. So keep voting because, you know, the videos only stay on the countdown for as long as you guys request for them to be. So before we get out of here and we, you know, give them hunted officially, let yeah. them know how they can find you, where they can follow you, where they can get the music if they don't already know. And, if, you know, you might as well go ahead and introduce your video. So, it's all you, baby. Do your thing. Yeah, man. Y'all can find me and follow me on Instagram at Trap Beckham, T-R-A-P-B-E-C-K-H-A-M. A lot of people don't know how to spell Beckham. So you'd be surprised. So, um, follow me on that. Follow me on everything. You just search Trap Beckham on anything and just, you know, rock with me, especially on my Spotify. I'm trying to get those numbers to astronomical numbers so follow me on that um this is the number four video it's called 100 aka 100 you know what i'm saying it's off of my soundcloud sunday playlist follow me on soundcloud <laughs> let's get it yeah mm. Keep it honey, honey niggas with me, all of them keep it honey. Honey's in my pocket, try and make another honey. Honey bitches on my line, they fucking for a honey. I'ma need a honey, honey, so you better keep it coming. Pocket full of money, bout to throw them at your woman. I got niggas in the dungeon, wanna catch that shit a honey. Free all of my dog, this is never what we wanted. Gotta keep that shit a honey, I ain't really with the friend. I ain't tryna kick it, I ain't really with the plan. I got bitches who a honey, all they do is get their money. She a bad bitch. I'm just trying to get that honey, and I might pull up in the foreign fucking match and hit a hundred. Pull it, pull me over, ticket cost a couple hundred. I got a favorite number, and that number is a hundred. And you don't keep it hundred if it ain't about them hundred. Better hundred, nigga. Everywhere I go, I keep it hundred. Hundred niggas with me, all of them keep it hundred. Hundreds in my pocket, try and make another hundred. Hundred bitches on my line, they fucking for a hundred. I'm a hundred, nigga. Everywhere I go, I keep it hundred. Hundred niggas with me, all of them keep it hundred. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
till a nigga turn a hundred. Hundred reason why my people asking me for something. Hundred motherfuckers gotta feed a hundred stomachs. Headed to the top, I got a hundred niggas coming. Tell me what you hollering about it, being hollering about a hundred. Talking about you about to do it, we already done it. I remember bitches running, now they talk about they want it. She had me for the D, I told that bitch that it's a hundred. I be stunned by it all, I'm a dog with the hundred. Hundred days, hundred nights, we gon' get them hundreds. All I see is blue, thumb it through all these hundreds. Hundred things that I gotta do with these hundreds, keep it hundred, nigga. Everywhere I go, I keep it hundred. Hundred niggas with me, all of them keep it hundred. Hundreds in my pocket, tryna make another hundred. Hundred bitches on my line, they fucking for a hundred. I'm a hundred nigga, everywhere I go, I keep it hundred. Hundred niggas with me, all of them keep it hundred. Hundreds in my pocket, tryna make another hundred. Hundred bitches on my line, they fucking for a hundred. Why nigga just sitting content being honorable mention? I put that drip in my pippin'. She whispered she missed me. I told her little mama, let get it. I'm riding a horse. You can't tell. Go room, hit a horse. You can't tell. Hey, shout that she bad. You can't tell. She got hips with her ass. You can't tell. My pockets hit bold. You can't tell. That's a dick on that phone. You can't tell. If I give you this work. You can't tell. If I give you this dick. You can't tell. I'm riding a horse. You can't tell. Go room, hit a horse. You can't tell. Hey, shout that she bad. You can't tell. She got hips with her ass. You can't tell. My pockets hit bold. You can't tell. That's a dick on that phone. You can't tell. If I give you this work. You can't tell. If I give you this dick. You can't tell. Yeah, I'm leaving with her. I ain't really giving no choice. She like that tone in my voice. Yeah, D-Rim court. Thought that this shit we were poor. Then we had jumped off the porch. Huh, give him a taste. Keeping that shit on my waist. Put that bit right in his face. Been at it for days. Ain't swap my clothes but I bathe. They ask me why I ain't shaved. Let's get it okay. Had to put something in the safe. Had to put something in the ground. And put something in the chase. Something in the wall and then something in the basement. Something in the attic. Yeah, something in them crates. Yeah. Something in that inner coop, nigga, with something in the face. You just walk straight through custom with something in that lace. Okay. I'm riding up horse. You can't tell. Go room, hit a horse. You can't tell. Hey, that she bad. You can't tell. She got hips with her ass. You can't tell. My pockets hit bold. You can't tell. That's a dick on that phone. You can't tell. If I give you this work. You can't tell. If I give you this dick. You can't tell. I'm riding up horse. You can't tell. Go room, hit a horse. You can't tell. Hey, that she bad. You can't tell. She got hips with her ass. You can't tell. My pockets hit bold. You can't tell. show is my favorite part but okay y'all really I already know no cap when it comes to the djs i do not play about my djs Thanks. you better salute you a dj you better pay you a dj buy him a drink a water a red bull 
I don't care what you do. Just making sure you show some love for my DJ. So without further ado, I got my sis. DJ Samoa. I'm talking about yes. that top five. In your city, you Woo! better have somebody out there. DJ yeah. Samoa. Listen. Do what you do. You know what I mean? I heard it oh, was, we don't represent for the Gemini's I heard time. it was sundress season and it was <laughs> birthday season. You feel me? But why birthday on Tuesday? Oh, well, turn up in. You got me. Well, to one know time for the birthday, birthday shit. Hey. Two times for the birthday shit. What you tell him? Well, you know what I'm saying? Turn up one time with him. You in the building, you know, just represent real quick. Not everybody do that. It's a little respect, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, shout out Johnny Blaze, another team Gemini in the building. You know what I mean? Today is her birthday. You know what I'm saying? So you know, represent for all the Gemini's out there. You did, all right. Oh yeah, we turning up tonight, you dig? Can I say where well, I ain't gonna say where well, I'm be at? Oh yeah, Babylon Cafe at the hours, you already know what it is in Bubba Kid. Shout out to all the Gemini's, y'all pull up on a sister. You already know.
You know what I'm saying? We play, we break records. You know what I'm saying? We break records in real life. Make sure I hit me up with that IG. This is DJ some more. We got, we got. One more song. Give me one more song. Listen, I can't do this dance. But if y'all can, listen, y'all want to laugh, go to my TikTok. I will not post, post it on Instagram. This is DJ Samore. If I want to laugh, if I need some lessons on how to do this song, somebody can please teach me. I've been trying to take lessons all summer long. Mm -mm. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. We live on Worldwide TV nationally, you feel me? I can't do it. I can't do it to myself, I promise. But you can go to my TikTok and laugh. This is DJ Samore. I'm just saying. Yeah, I gotta play this one. I gotta play this one. I'm sorry. Y'all see, you know what I'm saying? Savage Mode All 2020, High Girl Summer. What y'all know about it? What y'all know about it? Listen, make sure y'all get that mixtape. What you know about it? Ladies' Night Only. Me, hosted by your girl Shay Star. You know, she be singing. Y'all wanna hear that music that you'll probably never hear ever? It's on that mixtape. Y'all check that out. <laughs> Cause it's a rap. <laughs> it's a rap. You feel me? <laughs> I can't do it. I y'all is not gonna catch me. I'm sad. She's like it's a rap, but you know, it's already five thousand. You know what I'm saying? Two weeks, y'all catch up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And that beat stand for bands If you wanna see some real ones Baby, here's your chance I say left cheek, right cheek Drop it low this swing Texas up in this thing Put you up on this gang I be talking my friend Gang, 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 gang 
you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Oh, look. Please don't give me hype. Right. Write my name in ice. ice. Can't ice. argue with these lazy basics. I just raise my price. I'm, I'm a boss. boss. I'm a leader. I pull up in my two-seater. And my mama was a savage. Look, I got this here from Tina. I'm, I'm a savage. savage. Yeah. Classic. Fuji. Ratchet. Yeah. Sassy. Yeah. Moody. Nasty, yeah. acting stupid, what's happening, what's happening, what's up? I'm a savage, yeah, classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. sassy, moody, nasty, yeah. acting stupid, what's happening, what's happening, like Beyonce, like me, he wanna put us like the stallion with the knees, he be like, damn, how that thing moving in the jeans, I don't even think on hell couldn't do it like me, like me, Summer edition. We got some other stuff. Just stay tuned, locked in. Yeah. And the number three video. Oh, oh yeah. And I got a shot. The number three video. I knew him from before he was big. When he was just like little. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the little big homie. You know what I'm saying? Big Javi with nine big times. Javi. Big Javi. You know, not little. Big Javi. Nine times out of ten. What you know about it, man? Song number three. Watching a master at work. Nine times out of ten. I got niggas I probably never see again. Again, again. No matter the problem, I promise that we gon' win. We gon' win. First one to switch up the one you call friends. Got no friends. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. I got niggas I probably never see again. Again, again. No matter the problem, I promise that we gon' win. We gon' win. First one to switch up the one you call friends. Nine times out of ten. Wishing on my downfall, better wish again. Wish again. Look at how many young niggas down, I'm seeing it. Ain't got time for the bullshit, I let it go with the wind. Came from the songs, I was right with them hooligans. Before I ever trip, I tie my shoe again. Tie my shoe again. Not the real homie, I ain't got too many friends. I ain't got too many friends. Get the boy slipping on guy, we gon' do me. Gonna do me. Get the boy slipping on guy, we gon' do me. Brand new religion, I keep this shit true again. I was told what won't fall, won't bend. Ran out of money, I swear I don't know what to do again. I pray for all of my niggas, cause nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. I got niggas I probably never see again. Again, again. No matter the problem, I promise that we gon' win. We gon' win. First one to switch up, the one you call friends. Got no friends. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. I got niggas I probably never see again. Again, again. No matter the problem, I promise that we gon' win. We gon' win. First one to switch up, the one you call friends. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Got you a silent until you show all the way. Look me in my eyes, still told me lies. Told me lies. If you ain't with me, then you on the other side. Other side. 
If you ain't with me, then you on the other side. I know they gon' hate on me, baby, just wait on me. I know they gon' plot cause they see I got cake on me. Bitch, I got cake like a motherfucking bakery. You know the name and the fame, no mistaking me. Forever I ride with the gang, you know I'm all in. I guess some niggas I'll probably never see again. I pray the Lord forgive all my sins. Nine times out of ten. I got niggas I'll probably never see again. Again, again. No matter the problem, I promise that we gon' win. We gon' win. First one to switch up, the one you call friends. Got no friends. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. I got niggas I'll probably never see again. Again, again. No matter the problem, I promise that we gon' win. We gon' win. First one to switch up, the one you call friends. Nine times out of ten. They say the black man is depreciated. And for the record, fuck 12, the only swine I like is bacon. But you don't feel me though. I say most of them racist. I'm being instructed by the puppet master to shoot like Curry at dog pigmentation. Kenny Walker's family deserves an explanation. Yeah. I'm sure Eric Gardner's family appreciate the compensation, but that money won't replace him. Nah. They murking us across the nation for nature. That's if we ain't murking each other over some basic bullshit. We go through on a regular basis. Pull quick on your partner doing them fucks a favor. Keep your sticks, just don't use them on your neighbor. We may need them. Shit, real out you. The revolution could start this evening. And I ain't preaching. But some say I teach cause I rhyme with reason. And real shit is what I'm speaking. So fuck what they say. You crack us, get a bail out. And all we get is another motherfucking jailhouse. My name is Jamal Burt, and I'm the owner and CEO of EBO Educational Services. We're a full service tutoring and test prep company. We do everything from calculus to counting, from phonics to Shakespeare. We also are very big on SAT, ACT prep for college prep, ASVAB testing, and GED testing as well. Whatever has to do with academics that you need to get through or get past, we help you through. I loved building relationships with students and helping kids just grow, learn that there's more to life than just keeping good grades, but it's about building who you are as a person. One student to one tutor. We don't have a class or a small group of kids, so undivided attention is given to that one child. I was a teacher for a while, and I was in the classroom seeing that these kids were not getting as much as they could possibly get, and they weren't learning in a way that was really getting to them and really reaching them. So after I left the classroom, I was actually gonna leave education for a while because I got so disenchanted with the system. But I decided that in the meantime, so I could find something else, let me just put a sign on the corner for tutoring. And uh, the phone started ringing, and here it is 10 years later, and it hasn't stopped ringing since. Well, today's video, so Never Have I Ever game segment, has been made possible by that. One Rock Vodka and Little Boys Entertainment. Escape the ordinary, own your spirit, and take the Zero Hangover Challenge today. Order online at 1-877-spirits.com and enjoy a limited time, 35% off home delivery discount with code Take a Break. The award-winning Little Boys Entertainment record label is an official brand ambassador of...
and we are back. I hope you guys enjoyed our live mix up by my girl DJ Samore. Make sure you follow her on Instagram at this is. DJ some more. You know we had to turn up for the birthday chick. Hey man, had to turn up for the birthday. You know, chick. You know how many birthday chicks on coronavirus punishment right and now? And they missed all their we birthdays. We celebrate for them. So we right celebrate now. for everybody. Yeah. You feel me? It's Gemini season. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna turn up for the Gemini's. You feel me? Yes, we love the Gemini's. Right. <laughs> but this is now probably my super most favorite part of the show because you guys know I like to get lit. But definitely got to say a big shout out to our liquor sponsor, One Rock Vodka. Welcome to Never Have I Ever. So this is the part of the show where we get semi-interpersonal. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But all eyes on me. Tupac (laughs) is here. There we go. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this game. So I'm going to ask Trap five questions. And if he answers no, then he has to take a shot. But if he answers yes then I have to take a shot. So, are you ready? Uh-oh. Yes. Let's see. Let the games begin. Let the games begin. Have you ever broken a bone? No. Ooh. Somebody get the scoreboard ready! Get it ready, ready, ready! That's crazy. One <laughs> rock vodka. Just like that. Just like that. I'm losing. Oh my Come on. God. Okay. It's pizza out there, so you be all right. Okay. One rock vodka. One rock vodka. All right. That was a hefty shot. It was a hefty. That was hefty. Ooh. Oh, all right. We just getting started, okay? Hmm. Ah. Have you ever? You ready? You need a minute? No. no. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know if he, you know, was, wasn't was ready. That is, that is distilled. <laughs> You know I mean? Well, this is the no hangover, too. So, <laughs> shout out to my folks over there, one Rock Vodka, because you can drink this all night long and not get a hangover. Oh. Yeah, so we lit, lit. Okay. Okay. Um, have you ever got hit in the back of a limo? <laughs> when you say limo. You got to listen to words very carefully. Have you ever got some brains? In the back of a limo. If it has the t- word limousine attached to it. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. What? No, not a limo. You Uh-oh. know what? If you would have said a vehicle. Nope. These questions are very specific. You know the what? The back of a limo. Because there's so many types of vehicles, though. We could have just got here. Limousine. Wild limousine. No. Oh. All righty. Here we go. We got some more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we need to get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on oh. with it. Oh. Damn. You said no or yes? I said a, a shot. <laughs> I mean, you know, no, shot. They've been fired. <laughs> she making cups over here. Come on. All right. Here we go. Gemini season. Okay. For the Geminis. For the Geminis. One yeah. rock. Mm-hmm. Shot two. Get fucked up. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> no cheating, no cheating, no cheating, no cheating, no cheating. I gotta look at it first. Oh, you ain't tapping out, is you? Mm. 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 See, I'm a yak drinker. This new. Oh, mm, yeah. This, this, this oh. is where this is where the birth comes out. You know, like my sweet baby Jesus just came out of nowhere. This is the birth. I don't know what the hell that was, but hey, it worked for me. Hey, finish on back. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Mm. Whew. I'll mm. wait. Right. I'll wait. Mm. You still got a, got a swig in there, sir. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no cheating. Finish her off. That ain't part of the glass? No, yeah. baby. That ain't part of the... Woo! No, okay. come on with it. They ain't backwash. No, baby, that ain't it. These are good glasses. All right, all right, all right let's. Let's <sighs> breathe it out. It's gonna take some time. We got all the time. To reflect. You know. <laughs> reflect. You know, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> they do. I just make sure everybody knows. Y'all and know. and so, does, so does the rest of that cup. So throw it on back. It's black owned company. Black owned company, you feel what I'm saying? All right, baby. Look at how 
That was black on white crime right there, the way you just played with that shot, sir. <laughs> that ain't yet. Wait a minute. That ain't yet. All right, so where we at? Question number three. That ain't that yet. We at question number three. Mm. Hmm. Have you ever... <laughs> have you ever been in love? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess I take it easy on my folks. You feel me? Okay. Okay, so here we go. Time for me. I don't know, cut you off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> have you? Yep. For sure. Okay. Mm. I, I think it's inside of water or something. Not yet. I mean, that's not yet. That's one rock. Woo. Two to one. Oh, that one rock. Woo, yeah. Feeling it. Feels great. You feel it? It's a nice little burning sensation, like right up in there. Yeah. There, but mm-hmm. like you feel like ah, ah, ah. Right, right here. Okay. <laughs> two to one, two to one. Y'all ready for question number four? Have you ever? Yep. <laughs> Have you ever skipped school? Yes. Shoot. A lot. A whole lot. There you go, baby. <laughs> no, there, there you go, sir. Oh. Oh, it's for me? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> two for two. Because, man. Mm. You're trying to kill me off that uh, that vodka, man. Shout out to one rock, though. It is smooth. <coughs> one rock. It is smooth. Smoothly running down my chest. <laughs> mm. Feel the it little hairs on my chinny chin mm-hmm. chin coming in. Okay. Yeah. This is the last question, sir. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Is it? Had yeah, we're two for two now. We're on the oh. same we're on the same wave right now, baby. Oh, we yeah. We we all the way one hundred right yeah, now. One rock, boy. You know what I mean? We <laughs> all the way one hundred right now. Um have you ever made somebody swallow your kids? Yes. I wasn't done with the question. Uh-huh. Have you ever made somebody swallow your kids and then ask for it back? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever had oh, someone swallow your kids and then ask for it back? <laughs> what is he talking about, man? Pull me a shot. Pull me a shot. Yes, no. Of course, of course, of course not. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Anybody who's out there doing that shit <laughs> needs to be fucking locked away. <laughs> I'm talking about lock their ass well, away. Well, you know, people is weird. They like, you know, I want to see you and then put it back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, should I had said spit it out? Would that have made you feel better? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's some weird <laughs> shit. Like, I never even seen that. I watch a lot of porn. Never seen that. Well, you That's said. crazy. I don't, I. I'll be done. I'm done for you the week. You said make America shake again, right? Yes. Yeah. I did say that. Yeah, so. I didn't say make what's America shaking? sick again. What's shaking? Huh? Oh, what's shaking? What? The table. I believe the answer to that question was. The table in the. No, sir. Huh? In Spanish, it's no, too. The water? Okay. 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 Yeah. It's the one rock. The one rock is shaking. You go. Mm. Okay. This made me feel a little better. I'm going to be a good sport. That made me feel a little better. Because you answered yes to the first part of the question. Okay. So, I take half a shot for half of a yes. She threw a spin. I, I never expected on that, that question. Kudos. All right. Kudos. Kudos. Kudos and one rock vodka. One rock. And, uh, no, I did not. Ask for it back. <laughs> Ask for my nut back. Okay, well, ill. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? You crazy. <laughs> All right. Pour it up. Yep. There we go. Ah, oh, good. Oh, he's a good boy. All right. I can't even play with it no more. Mm. Can't even play with it at that point when you're drinking. And it's over with. Yeah, you just gotta go. If you're gonna go, that's the way to go right there. Go. That's it. Just and toss don't it on a- back. And don't ask for it back. Don't ask for it back ever. <laughs> ever. Just if you gave if you give it away, 
Don't ever ask for a gay. We're not doing the Indian giver thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, you lost. I won because I was uh, lit last week trying to drum a boy. You feel me? But uh, track back home is always a pleasure. Let these people know how they can find you and how they can keep up with everything you got going on. Yeah, y'all can find me uh, everywhere on Instagram, Google, Spotify, Apple Music. Trap Beckham, T R A P B E C K H A M. Trap Beckham on everything. You good? Yep. You yep. Feel, little, feeling a little hot? I'm a little Swayze, man. Little Swayze? Little gonna, Patrick Swayze? Gonna go listen to, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Some crump music or something. I don't know. We're lit, dude! <laughs> Get out of here, you freaking wild! I'm talking about How the one rock makes you feel. <laughs> Shout out to the Outfit Shop, man, for having me. You know, Debonair, you already know. Hello. Ooh, hey. ooh, ooh, hey. ooh, drip, ooh, drip, ooh, drip, 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 drip. Elm, Elm. Hey, okay. So, I got to go ahead and introduce the number two video, you guys. Big shout out to One Rock Vodka for sponsoring the Never Have I Ever drinking game right here on Kudos with Shay Star and Trap Beckham. It is a pleasure. I love you, much. Give me love. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes always, my friend. I'm so proud always of you. Always love. Thank yes. you. For pre, uh, for bringing me here, I appreciate yeah, it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm. Definitely a dope show. I like everything that's going on mm. here. One Next rock. time we gotta have some yak. Got me right? lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, black on yak, man. Let's get some black on yak up here. <laughs> y'all, y'all companies get that shade, man. You know what's going on. <laughs> you already know what it is, man. It's your girl Shay Star. Make sure you follow me at I am Shay Star. Make sure you follow the show at Kudos with Shay Star. Big shout out to My Life Entertainment, CEP TV Network, and of course Golden Crown Media. And right now, we're about to get into the number two video. Where all my zoes at? I'm talking about Sock Pasta. This is my boy, ACKJ Dub. The number two video, 50 Sucks. Drop out the spot, drop out, drop out, drop out the spot, run it up, 50k double the mouth, drop out the spot for the dope, yeah, drop out the spot for a feet slap, I'm gonna keep this cooking up the dope in the lab, and I'm cocking just like that, run it up, I'm in my bag, I'm in my bag, yeah, run it up, I'm in my bag, drop out the spot for a feet slap, I'm gonna keep this cooking up the dope in the lab. Just the other day, my partner just got nine. Got a pair of keys, I can't trust too many. Monkey niggas be the ops, middle finger to the cops. If you cross the other side, you gotta stay there. I was raised by some haters, they don't play with us. Sign the money up, I'm talking real fast. Sign the money up, I'm talking real fast. Who gets me the ice, check my wrist well. Fly on, nigga, Mr. Christian, we all be on. Pocket watch the pussy, what you want to hate on me for? 24 hours, like I got all eyes on me, feel like pop, 50 money, now I'm stop. Drop out the spot for a 50 slap. I'm the cheapest cooking up the dope in the lab. And I'm cocking just like that. Run it up, I'm in my bag, I'm in my bag. Yeah, run it up, I'm in my bag. Drop out the spot for a 50 slap. I'm the cheapest cooking up the dope in the lab. And I'm cocking just like that. Run it up, I'm in my bag. I'm in my bag. Cash bags for the city, run it up. Yeah, I count no hundred. Ooh, honey, all we want. I don't trust them. Don't trust gotta them. keep my phone me. I don't pop it. I take off like a rocket. Straight drop. I gon' like it. Good dope. Got the babies on my line. Fuck our relationships. Lost a couple things. I ain't had no time. Run it up. I'm on my thigh. You ain't saying shit. My struggle made me who I am. Rewind. I'm gonna do this shit once again. Both these niggas just pretend I had to learn the hard way. Hey guys, we are super, super, super happy that you guys joined us today. You know, kudos with Shay Star. This is our second episode. I just want to say thank you so much to Mr. Jeremy Mincy on the whole MMP movement. You know, I support you 110%. 
thousand percent. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's what happens when you drink the one rock vodka. You just start making up stuff, okay? And definitely want to say big shout out to Trap Beckham. I love you so much. You guys go and support my friend. Make sure you guys stream whatever he has going on. If it's your birthday today, tomorrow, yesterday, the next day, just make sure you play one time for the birthday cheat. Ooh. And I want to say, because, you know, it is Gemini season, a very happy birthday to a very dear friend of mine, Miss Johnny Blaze. Happy birthday! Now, let me tell you why that even is so official at this moment right here. We are about to get into the number one video, but before we get into the number one video, I definitely want to say again, thank you so much to CPTV Networks, My Life Entertainment, and of course, Golden Crown Media, my boy Jeremy Harris on deck, and of course, Levi, Hershey, and uh, you know, the outfit shop, you know what I'm saying? Because I got that jazzy touch, shout out to my girl Monique, and I uh, love you guys so much, DJ some more, thank you so much for coming through. And uh, yeah, so the number one video. Make sure you follow me at I am Shay Star. Make sure you follow Kudos with Shay Star. But the number one video, ah, I'm excited, goes to the birthday girl. And I literally had nothing to do with this. You guys voted, and you know what? Happy freaking birthday, Johnny Blaze. I love you so much. I know you out there turning up somewhere and twerking somebody's dreams away. I love you, boo. Happy birthday. The number one video is my friend, my dear friend, Johnny Blaze. With yeah, it's kudos with Shay Star. <laughs> What's your name? Y'all looking real good. Oh, stuck up. <laughs> Y'all better ask about me. It's my set. I'm the CEO. <laughs> Jeffrey, what are you doing? Can you go get us some coffee? Thank you. <laughs> the hell we pay? Come on. Chop chop. Chop chop. Go that way. Go that way. Yeah. <laughs> Go that way. Pull up one. Right now, I'm finna go to the brand to the stage. You know, uh, the cats. The mouth. All that. This is crazy, man. I'm talking about, I'm talking about. They bouncing too, man. I seen them seen from the silver rehearsals. I seen where I'm Bishop done one, the real done one. And I'm bringing to the stage. Sign with the pussy. With, with, with the cats with the hat. No. Sign in the pussy cat, dog. I'm not your little for him. It's a little. Like 
pippin'. You won't catch me slipping, won't catch me slipping. We don't compare, we different. I'm so fucking gifted. Hit him with the bed.